What's up? Good morning. Kendall and I are headed to Cars and Coffee this morning. It's early. If you can't hear it in my voice, I've got to get the NSX out. That means I got to move all this other stuff first. Oh, thank you. So I'm also not so sure it's not going to rain on us, which really sucks because I just washed this car. It's she's in the truck. Oh yes, we brought Moxie. She's in the truck. Moxie also is in an urn. And we're going to customize Moxie on the laser a little later when we get back. But for now, we're going to get this car out of the shop. How you feeling, Kendall? Good. You know, last time they saw you, you went on the airplane ride, and you weren't feeling so good. Mm. But the airplane ride was so cool, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, they unlocked that for you. This is not like my car, but it has a roof. <laughs> it is like your car. Your car's a little cooler than mine, I think. Because you can actually ride yours in the rain. I can't. Let's just hope it's... <laughs> Alright, the battery's not dead. I usually have it plugged in and we don't have to worry about the battery, but it hasn't been plugged in in a little while now. Yeah, just like yours, I gotta keep the battery charged. I thought you put gas in Yeah, but there's a battery that starts it. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Alright. I haven't been in this car in a while. Yeah, it's been a minute. Are you gonna help me shift gears? You'll have to learn. I do know how to. Oh, really? Yeah, because I do it in my car. is actually a little scary to drive and not because it's like so fast or anything crazy like that but because it's so small and it's shorter than a lot of the mirrors on other cars that people just don't see you so they have a tendency to uh, change lanes and stuff and they're like trying to sideswipe you and they just don't see this car it's just so short for example here's a f-150 coming up next to us I don't know if you can tell how much taller that thing feels than us, but the roof of this car is lower than the mirror on his truck. And it gets a little dicey sometimes. We gotta teach these youngins how these stick shift cars work. So these things are gonna be obsolete by the time they're, they're driving. You ready? Give me your hand. So we're gonna go first, and then when the light turns green, I'll let the clutch out. What's up, y'all? How, How you doing? doing? How are you? Uh, yeah, I'm going to play Astro Hades. 
six mid engine rear drive. They just kill it. He has done. This is pretty sick. Old Evo. What is this? Like a three, four? Right hand drive. Medium. Look, the steering wheel is on the wrong side of the car. Why is the steering wheel on that side? Because this car came from like Japan or something. They drive on the other side of the road. That's so confusing. <laughs> Lamborghini, this is what Kendall wants, but she wants a pink one. You want a, you want a convertible? With like the top that comes off? Alright, so she wants a pink convertible Lamborghini. And it has to be sparkly. With sparkles? Yeah. Okay. We'll work on it. And I also want a Ferrari. And a Ferrari? Yeah. You're high class. I know. What do you think, Kendall? Yeah. It's got a lot more engine back there. Is this cooler than my car? Don't say it. You think this is cooler than my car? What? Oh my gosh. I'm disappointed in that. It's a Lamborghini. Well, it looks like I gotta step up my game. Gosh. But I do like your car. Huh? But I do like your car. Oh. Well, that's sweet. Alright. One more row. How is this even a car? What do you mean? You can sit in it and drive it. It just doesn't have a roof. Model A. Pretty cool, huh? This thing's really well done. I like it. It's nice. Okay, we are back in the shop now, and I've got Moxie here with me. See, this is Moxie. Kendall did such a good job of Moxie has a face and a tail. And today we're gonna we're gonna stick Moxie in the laser here and put her name right on top. So there's a few things we gotta do. We gotta design something to put on there. So you gotta help me design how you want Moxie's name to look there. So we gotta choose some fonts and that sort of thing. And then we gotta get her perfectly positioned in the laser and get it all squared up right in the middle. Wait, can we do Moxie Birdie? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay, we've got a design set up that'll fit inside the top of the box. I'm gonna do a probably a quick little test run. Let's get this thing fired up. Go ahead, you can lift it up. Get this in here, we'll get it all set up perfectly square and centered on this thing. Low enough. Yep, so we're gonna go down with the bed. Okay. So we'll put Moxie right in here for a second, like that. Alright. We'll set focus. I'm going to put that there. So this will make sure it's square with the laser so that when it goes from side to side we're in the same plane from where we want it to be. That looks really good. Okay. Alright Kendall, that thing's perfectly centered. Oh I can see You see the little dot? Alright, let's close the door carefully. We're going to run a quick little test outline. Okay. And then if we like it we'll, do, we'll fill it in a little bit. Okay. Cool is that, huh? Mm -hmm.
Okay, good test cut. It's done? Yeah. All right, here's a quick test cut. I just did the outline. I want to get the depth sorted out, but you can see what that'll look like. So now we'll go back in. We can fill it in. We can turn up the power a little bit so it's engraved a little more. But what do you think about it? Don't, don't move the box, though, okay? I'm not. What do you think about it? Pretty cool? Pretty cool to watch, huh? All right, let's do it again. We'll fill it in. We'll go a little bit stronger. We'll go a little deeper. It'll be pretty awesome. What do you think about that? Oh, so cool. Isn't that cool? Come on, you got it. You got it. Big girl. Uh. <laughs> Pretty cool. It's a little sticky, that stuff on top, so we might have to clean it off. But it's not hot. Right, you want to grab it out of there? There she is. Let's see it. Cool. All right, let's go take it home. Next thing on the list of things to do this weekend is build a ramp for Hans. I don't know if you guys can see, he's having a hard time getting around these days. He's just, he's getting old, he's having a hard time. So I'm building a temporary ramp here because really in the next few months they're gonna rip the whole deck off and we're gonna rebuild the whole deck. Um, but we're going out of town. We got a bunch of people to have to come over and watch him and do stuff. So I generally am having to pick him up and carry him up and down the stairs because he usually falls. So I'm just going to build a temporary ramp, like maybe 24 inches wide on that side of the steps. And it'll come down to probably about here. So I've got to join these two boards together. We're going to put some decking boards in the middle for the ramp. And then hopefully the old man can get up and down okay. We got the second board transferred over, made a template off the first one. We're gonna bring it over into the dirt just a little bit. So we got the level out. We dug out a little dirt out of there, got it nice and level. I'm gonna put some bracing across here. Actually, before I do that, I got some flashing tape. So I'm gonna flash tape the bottom of it where it's in the dirt and on the driveway, the bottom of the steps, and I'm gonna go across the entire top of these. These aren't treated and they're not gonna be here forever, so I didn't think they need to be treated, but I will put flashing tape on the top to keep water kind of off the top and bottom of the boards. And we put the decking on top and we'll be done. All right, we're making progress. I didn't film as much because we were worried about the rain, but we're starting to get the decking boards on. We got some bay bracing in between. We've got some trim boards that we're going to put on the side when we're done. Uh, it's worked out really well so far, so Hans is a spoiled old dog. 